Well, I don't know how much more of this black stuff I can take. I tell her, but I don't want to hurt her feelings. <laughs> Here it is, Buck, just the way you like it. I can only hope it's as good as it deserves. Much obliged, sir. So you see, everything is served down. Hopefully my honey, honey will be burning. Hopefully my honey will be buzzing around the house in no time. Whatever it was hit her pretty fast. I wouldn't rush her way back to her house. Feeling rusty? I'm working hands are finally back on their feet. They obviously made a fast recovery. Just like the whole time of water pit. I wouldn't be so sure about that. We don't know who or what is doing the poison. I just think it's important to think positive. I agree. I can't find a job in water pit unless I'm thinking positive. So here's a toast to being positive. Oh. It's Spice, it's Cap! Spice, can't you see a duster talking? I'm sugar. They're so difficult to tell apart. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, Daddy. We just wanted to tell everyone about the garden we planted. A garden? Yeah, we want to raise carrots to feed Christmas. That's a lot of responsibility, girls. Don't worry, Daddy. We're good gardeners. Yeah, we'll certainly weed them and reap. Yeah. <laughs> carrots are mighty important with eyes. Bad eyesight is be awfully costly. How so? I once had a man who had four sons with bad eyesight. He had a fine sunglasses. <laughs> Mighty expensive. This new venture shows my little girls are finally growing up. Does that mean Sugar and I can have our first cup of coffee? Yeah, you and Miss Bright are practically saying we're grown up, sort of. Please, Daddy. Please, 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 please. <laughs> well. <laughs> I guess you can have the first taste. Here, you have the first taste. Why does Spice get to go first? Because she's older. Only by three minutes. That's not fair. Sugar, to make things fair, you can have a sip from mine. That way you can both sip at the same time. Sugar and Spice, how about you two make a little toast? A toast? Is there any bread around here? She needs to say a few inspirational words. Like this. To our favorite horse, I give her a kiss. I plug her my lips and swoosh dear with me. Oh, I get it now. Here's to the racehorse that's in every Swiss miss. Two one was one racehorse. One one was one two. Two one 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 race and one 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 two. <laughs> What's wrong? The coffee could be too hot and burn their young mouths. Not at the pace these things come to launch. <laughs> <laughs> I'll take the first sip just to make sure it's okay. I may not like coffee, but I can never let harm come to these two innocent maidens. The toast, the toast. As temporary sheriff, here's to the Pony Expresso. May their coffee always quench your thirst. They'll always treat you right, and it's here that safety's first. Oh. No! temporary sheriff there will be no one to investigate the matter. It is then that you and I can get married. Huh? Wouldn't you want to marry me? Oh. <laughs> 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 and 
and run the Pony Expresso together? I would never write anything as horrible as that. <laughs> How did you even know the letter was behind the counter? I saw Buckley together just minutes ago. When Buck left, I was able to meet with Andy, and she showed me this horrible letter she was trying to. When I handed her back letter, I watched her sit it under the counter. I bet you not to do anything against the fine balls of our town, but when you refused, I went to find our temporary sheriff. Unfortunately, I was too late. However, I'm sure the railroad would like to know about our town's problems. They would surely want me to run the Pony Espresso. You see that? I don't understand. How can this be? It's in my handwriting. Because you wrote it, you skinny villainous. Andy would never do such a thing. Buck Braun, if he were alive, he would find out the real truth. Oh, Buck, if you were alive, you would solve this horrible crime. Oh, Buck, I love you. I love you. I love you. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Buck, you're alive! It's a dream come true. What's this? The boys are the dead? He's alive! Holy cow! He's coming back to life! He's alive! It's a miracle! This can't be true. It is true. I couldn't let you do this, Mo. Do what? He wanted to dispose of temporary sheriff Brom. But I couldn't let him do such a thing. There's all the innocent ones in the world. So I switched the bodies. This can't be true. We all watch this man die right before our own eyes. Please allow me to do my medical examination. <laughs> Say ah. <laughs> I'm happy to say this man didn't die, but he obviously, he obviously has a terrible coffee allergy. Oh. Coffee allergy? Yes, a coffee allergy. Doc, what should I do? I recommend you start drinking a bucket of water. But that will turn me pale. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> but I suggest you start drinking tea. Thank you, Doc. Mr. Mo Obama, you're under arrest. You can't arrest me. You're a Pony Express rider, not a sheriff. Not so, Kabar. I've been after you for years. You're not just looking at Palomino Polly. You're looking at Marshall Palomino Polly. <laughs> <laughs> Marshall Palomino Polly! Uh, Hercules territory. Hands up, Kabar. It's not over yet. <gasps> Either you let me go free and easy, or I'll pour the rest of this vial down Star's throat. You're hideous feet! You want to have a milk of human kind of the view dragon cow! You started at the bottom and sank! You never did sing in your life, and you didn't even do that well! You are right in this place, but they haven't dug it yet! Enough with the compliments. We're going to sit on one stop back and hand for the heels. Julie you this out of it. She didn't do anything to you! Release her, you villain! Here 
Star, is it really true you kissed me? The lips are upon your cheek. Star, will you marry me? Oh. She can only say yes on one condition. What's that? With all the new business coming in, we're gonna need someone to help us run the Pony Expresso. Buck, I hope you'll consider becoming a part of the family business. I'd be honored to. But first I'll have to find Dunkin' Donut a replacement ranch hand. Barb can do it! How about it, Barb? Wow, that sounds great! Better go hop on job and we'll go introduce ourselves. <laughs> <laughs> And I'll just go do some inventory and leave you two alone. <laughs> <laughs> oh yes, Buck, I'll marry you, but I too have one condition. What's that? With the Pony Express on not being a stop or water pit, I think we should give our shop a new name. What's that? Buck Stars Coffee. And too, but I think your name should come first. <laughs> That's sweet of you, but who's ever heard of Starbucks? <laughs> I think Buck Star has a nice ring to it. And speaking of rings, my star. My Buck! 